Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I don't know about you, but surviving the winter feels like such a feat to me. Spring is upon us, summer is right around the corner, and we should celebrate. So today I wanted to share a spring-inspired makeup tutorial using some new products that I haven't tried at all yet. I also have a really, really cool beauty tool that I want to share. I haven't even opened it yet, so you're going to get the full first impression, and I have a feeling it's going to possibly change my life. Let's just get to it. So I already did all of my face makeup and now we're just gonna move right into the eyes. Lately I have just been loving soft, natural, kind of sultry eye makeup. Pixie actually sent over a few palettes. This is the Pixie by Petra Natural Beauty Palette. So this palette has 12 shades. I wanted to use this one today because I feel like it's a really healthy mix of both matte and shimmer shadows. Most of the shades are like mauve and purple. I'm gonna start by taking rose clay and applying it all over my eyelid. Using the smaller side of the brush, I'm going to take that very same color and apply it underneath my lower lashes. I do want to make it a little darker and give it some dimension, so I'm going to go in with, I think this one down here, Bronze Gleam. I think I'm also going to drag some of this beneath my lower lashes to really give it that soft, smoked out look. Now we're gonna go in with, I think these two, sand, sheer, and petal to lighten up the top of the lid, the inner corner, and then right beneath the brow, just for a touch of highlight. Okay, I really love these eyes. I didn't want to use liner, but I think I'm gonna use just a crayon to line the waterline and maybe my high line and just smudge it out a little. Nothing too harsh or bold. So this is my favorite. It is the Midnight Crayon Liner from Bare Minerals. I'm gonna revisit this palette real quick. I'm actually gonna take a little bit of this metal mauve right here. And I think I'm gonna put it just right in the corner of my eye. I need a little sparkle there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the move. That was totally the move. Ooh, I love it. I'm gonna drag it down just a little. Now for one of my favorite tools. This is the Chella Heated Eyelash Curler. I made a video on this last year. I've also featured it in a ton of other videos. Actually, let me turn it on while I talk about it. You just slide this up and it heats up in like 20 seconds. After I had my lash lift and tint a month or two ago, no, it's probably like a good two months ago, I just really missed those perfectly curled lashes because it has worn off. I think it only lasted like four to six weeks. My eyelashes don't grow perfectly separated and straight. They kind of are a little crooked. So I like being able to use this. It just helps you lift and separate them in the easiest of ways. So this heats up, you can feel it through here. It's really not dangerous. You're not gonna burn yourself. It's not that hot at all. But if you've never seen one of these, it's basically just like a little coil in here. So I'm gonna do this side first. You just hold it at the base and try not to blink. So I've been using the Maybelline The Colossal Volume Express Cat Eyes Mascara. To be honest, when I started using this, I absolutely loved it. And I don't know if it's starting to dry out and that's why I'm not feeling the same, but I kind of started to miss the Total Temptation, which as you know, is like my favorite of all time. This one's still good. It's just not as good. All right, we're gonna move on to a really exciting part of this video, which I mentioned briefly at the beginning and I cannot wait to share with you. I cannot wait to try. I am just beyond excited about this beauty tool. So as you guys know, I talk about it pretty much all the time. I have the tiniest lips in the world. That's not true. But to me, they're pretty small and I just am always trying to find ways to plump them, to make them look bigger, products, liners, tools to just enhance them. Honestly, before the whole Kylie Jenner lip craze, I always wanted bigger lips. I just feel like they're not proportionate to my face, at least my upper lip. We all kind of want that coveted, juicy, plush look. And apparently there's a way to get it at home that is safe, effective, and it'll give you both short and long-term results. So today I'm going to show you this tool. I'm going to unbox it. I'm going to demo it. And together we're just going to see how it actually works. So I got this package from Juvalip and I could not wait to open it. I brought a little knife and we're just going to unbox this thing together. I'm just going to cut the tape. Oh my God. 
This is so crazy. Here we go. This is the box. On top here, we have a little informational pamphlet. Here it looks like this is the mouthpiece. It's a medium mouthpiece, which hopefully fits. I honestly have such a small mouth. And then 20 replacement pads, which I guess we'll figure out how to use these in a minute. And then here is the actual box. Oh my God, I'm so excited. One to two minutes is all it takes for plumper lips. Results last for six to eight hours or even longer after repeated use. That is like music to my ears. Completely natural and safe to use, no acids or chemical injections. So excited and nervous and scared and I don't even know what to do. Let's open this box and just figure it out together. Obviously, Juva Lips sent this to me. They're actually sponsoring this portion of the video, which could not be a more exciting collab for me because this is something that I am always talking about, always trying to do on my own. In the box, we have the user guide, which I'll probably refer to that in a minute. Oh, here it is, here it is, here it is. This looks like, it almost looks like a razor. It looks like the on button is right here. This is the mouthpiece and there is already a pad inside. Oh my God, this is amazing. So there's more replacement pads in here, two AAA batteries. And how awesome is this? A little sham case so you can take it on the go. Oh my God, if this works, I'm literally taking this with me everywhere. Ooh, it fits. I feel like I need to do this the right way. Are you one of those people who get something new and they just jump in and try to figure it out by themselves? Or do you read the instructions and do it the right way? I've never been an instruction reader. <laughs> Let's read the user guide really quick because I don't want to do this wrong. So it's important to know, do not use the Juvalip device for more than one or two of the 60 second applications during the first few times. All right, so we are not going to do this for any more than two minutes max today. Install the two AAA batteries in the correct position. I'm just going to pop off, I think, the bottom here. Oops, oopy. I'm gonna seal it back up. That was easy. Wet your lips or apply a balm before using. They say that this helps to provide a better seal. I get that. Simply place the Juva Lips device against your lip and push and release the power button. Allow an airtight seal to form. It's automatically timed and will stop after 60 seconds. Oh, okay. So as you use the device, you'll feel a gentle pulling in of your lips. Something. So that's basically it. You wanna do everything you can to avoid bruising. I'm ready to go. I'm so scared. Why am I scared? We're wetting our lips. Simply place it against your lips and push and release the power button. Here we go. Plump them up. I feel it. I don't even know where to begin. So first, I put it on, not expecting what happened to happen. So I put it up and it like literally just sucked my lips in like a vacuum and I wasn't prepared and my tongue, it like sucked my tongue too. Well, that was weird. And then it just kind of made this noise and just kept them sucked right up to this pad. So that was interesting. It sucked in a lot of the skin around my mouth because I think my lips are still pretty small, but I feel it. It definitely pulled them and it definitely plumped them a little bit. Obviously, you're not gonna get Kylie Jenner lips like right off the bat, but wow. That felt really neat. It tingles a little, like my lips are a bit tingly. I'm so excited. I kind of want to do it one more time before putting my lip product on. Should I? Is that bad? Let's do it one more time. But now I feel like I'll be prepared. Put them on. more than my top and I want the top one to be a little bigger than the bottom but oh my god I'll tell you though the second time it hurt a little more it didn't hurt I don't want to say hurt but it was a little more tender I would not do it more than two times especially the first round holy cow wow I'm dying to get a little lip liner and a lipstick on so that I can just see the full effect and complete this look it also like sucked in my face did it take my makeup off a little bit. So I'm gonna use my little Milani liner and overline them just a little more because why not? Now that I have plump, juicy lips, this is amazing. 
This is the Milani Lip Liner in Nude, but it literally looks pink, I don't know why. So for lipstick, Laura Mercier, they're just so good to me, and they send like the most amazing packages all the time. They've sent over this jumbo box with all of their Rouge Essential Silky Cream lipsticks. So I figured I would pick one from this collection today and feature it in this spring tutorial. So I wanna do something like light pinky nude, just kind of my favorite color that I always use. Either this one, ooh, this is pretty. This is New Prefere, New Prefere? I like this. Or should I do something a little lighter? Nude natural? Ooh, maybe nude natural. I don't know, I like them both. I think I'm gonna go with my gut. The first one I picked up, yeah, this is really pretty. Nude Prefere. All right, let's apply this and see how it looks. Ooh, it's really soft and creamy. I love these lips, so nice. I'm so happy, oh my God, okay. So what I want to do for you guys is take note of what time it is right now. It's 1.04 in the afternoon. So I just want to see how long these really last before I feel like the plump is completely gone. And I also want to update you if I experience any bruising. So I'll just put like a little footnote so you can, you know, get the follow up and the full scoop. Right off the bat, it's really impressive, but you never know. Sometimes things change, so. So that is it, guys. The look is complete. I am loving these eyes and I am loving my plump little lips. Wow, that was so cool. Everything that I used in this video, I'm going to link below and I also have a really great discount code for you if you're interested in trying the Juva Lips for yourself. I have to say, product packaging, setup, immediate first impression, and results, I am blown away. I kid you not, I was not even sure if I was going to like it that much, but I really like it a lot. So if you go to juvalips.com and enter code AmandaBella20, you'll get 20% off your order. I'm telling you, I'm gonna use this thing a lot, like a lot, a lot. And I don't even think I need to do it twice. I think just once was like the little plump that I need. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and leave me a comment below letting me know if you're interested in seeing me try other really unique beauty tools that are on the market. It's one of my favorite things to do because I just would never think of some of these things. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so and I will see you guys next time. Hey guys, so it is a few hours later on the same day. It is currently 6.35 and I just wanted to give a really quick update. The plump was amazing. It lasted for, I would say, a good hour to an hour and a half before I noticed that it was like completely gone. And just about at that time, I also noticed that my lips were really, really bruised. Now that can be attributed to a bunch of different things. One, I used the device twice. I know that in the past, my lips have been really prone to bruising. So I wasn't exactly surprised by that. I did put on a little bit of a darker lipstick and it completely disguises them. So I'm sure in a couple days they'll look back to normal, but they were a little blue and bruised. It just looked like I was really cold. I wanted to let you know that just because I wanted this video to be very honest and transparent. It's just not normal or natural for us to do that to any part of our body. So we really have no tolerance for it, especially on the first time. I think the more that you use it, the better the results will be and the longer they will last. That's what I've grasped from all of the information that Jupilips has shared on their social sites and other people who have used the tool. I am not getting rid of this. I love this so much. I was so, so happy with the results. If you are to purchase one of these, I would just recommend being very conservative with it. Do not go overboard. Two times was probably one too many for me the first run. Make sure that you're subscribed to my channel because I can promise you, you're gonna see this again. But I really wanted this first impression to be a true first impression. Again, thank you so much to Juva Lips and thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions at all about the device, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I will see you next time. Ow.